Guess what time is, folks? It's cruise news time. Before we start, please do not forget to hit the like and subscribe button and notification button so you are notified when I make a new video. So, the Celebrity Millennium oversold six months before it's sailing. This is no good. So, how did this happen? They are saying it's an inventory error. So, it's an online error. And you know what? If you don't know, Celebrity is owned by Royal Caribbean. And guess what Royal has been doing? They've been screwing up just like this. So Royal, Celebrity, every company owned by Royal, jump off the ship. Well, not literally, but do not book it because they keep screwing up. And they, what do they do? They screw it up again. And these passengers, you know, I'm, passing, I'm not going to be happy about this. I mean, I book it at least it's six months in ahead, not, you know, the day of, you know. I mean, but now... What are they getting for it? I mean, you got to give me something if you're going to cancel the cruise on me, right? So they're giving you a choice. You could change the cruise, right, to September 24th, October 6th, or October 18th. And you get a refund of your flight and travel fare up to $500. But you also, you got your proof of it. You can't just say, oh, I flew here. Give me $500. And, you know, you live down the block from the place. So, you know, they're not going to give you that. So. That's one option that you have. The other option you have is they will cancel the cruise. You're going to get $450 future cruise credit, and they will give you $500, you know, credit for like the non-refundable uh, planes, right? So if, if you have a plane, but it's non-refundable, they'll give you back up to $500. So just imagine... It's embarkation day, right? You're all pumped, excited, getting ready to go. You wake up and you look on your phone. You get a text message or email saying that the cruise is canceled. What's going on? No, nah, this can't be true. It's got to be a scam. You know, they canceled my cruise on embarkation day. What is going on? So this is what happened to the passengers on the Kane Kuner cruise line, right? I don't know exactly the right pronunciation, right? So, this is what happened. They, it was, it's a transatlantic cruise leaving from Southampton to New York. So, just think about all these passengers who live in the United States and North America, right? They flew over there. They spent money on the flight, right? They flew, they spent money traveling there, you know? The morning of clothes, they bought new clothes for everything, right? They spent all this money for this cruise, right? Just to go there. And now they're in Southampton, and guess what? It's canceled. I mean, you know, it's not like they could just go up and get, get on another ship. They canceled the whole cruise on them. And they're saying the reason why it was canceled is saying it's technical issues with the cruise ship. I understand it's for the safety of the passengers, but, I mean, you should know there's something wrong with the ship, not in the morning of. You should have at least known at least 24 to 48 hours beforehand. You know, it's a transatlantic, so, you know, you know, you would definitely know that something happened. So this is a bad job by them, you know. So what are you doing for the passengers now? You know, you, you got to give them something back. So this is what they're doing for the passengers. They are giving them a full refund plus 20% of whatever you paid on future cruise credit. So say you paid $1,000, you are going to get $200. Obviously, more than likely, a majority of people did not pay $1,000, okay? I'll say $3,000, you know, you get $600, right, for future cruise credit. And every any excursion you booked, you're getting that refunded. All that all the activities that you already prepaid for, you're getting all that refunded back. But you know they flew there. I mean, they getting. I have not heard anything about the people who who flew there. They spent the money on the flight. Now they just lost all that money on the flight. They probably they could have spent at least a thousand dollars on the flight. They should at least reimburse them that too, with the proof of purchase, oh, of course. Well, you know. These patients just got screwed on both these cruises. Stay away from Royal Celebrity. This is the first thing I ever heard about the Cunard. But, you know, so my my assessment on this, what happened to these passengers? All right up the ghoul. Hope you all enjoyed the show today. Till next time, everybody. Safe travels.